And uh, here we are. I think we're ready to get started. Okay. Spectrum Vodka, a glass for every class. Ah. Classy. Shame I'm not a vodka drinker. Actually, I'm not really drinking anything right now. I'm sick. So, drinking right now would not be a good idea. Anywho. Cool. Open this up. And we will head up to... We'll head up there momentarily. But... Oh. I wasn't aware there was a little side area here. Hmm. A vending machine. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing too special in the vending machine, though. There's nothing that I can see. Ooh, wait, they got a pristine armor. What was this? Riot control. So this is light armor type. Pristine, but not really. Ooh, they do have it in the heavy armor, too. Huh. Interesting. Let me inspect this. Huh. It's a solid armor type. And... Hmm. Coloration isn't too terrible. Nah. Nah, I don't think I'll spend the bits on that. Especially since I don't have the bits. It's Spacer's Choice. Alright. Cannery Worker. Oh, so these are all the Cannery Worker peoples. Okay. Phyllis Granger. Oh, I need to talk to you about things. Things and stuff. Stuff and things. Hey, but, 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 but. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm not the new worker. Uh, I'm gravesite fees collector. Kind of. I'm, I'm here to grab those. Shit. Silas still on about that? Yeah. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's... that's fairly kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Oh. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Oh. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Well, that sucks. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Oh. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Wow. Between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Fair enough. Um, also, wow. Uh, that's another person saying that Spacer's choice handguns suck. Uh, one of which uh, had a hole shot into his side. So, uh... When I have the chance, I'm getting rid of these guns. That's an awful thing of you to say. Not half as awful as the bill Eugene left us with. Um, okay. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Oh! Oh 
my goodness. You're... Ooh, it's... <laughs> it's a crime. And the term is... Irreparable damage to company property. So you're, 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 you're telling me. You're telling me that... What are they going to do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. Oh. In other words, Edgewater would wow. have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. Wow. He's a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the Lord. Okay, um... All I know is Silas asked That's me not what I meant. Gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Okay. I'll, uh... let you get back to work, then. All right. Wow. Um, that was something. In the office of Reed Thompson, uh, Thompson, rather, Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier. And as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. And the reality is, is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medicinal treatment is a privilege, not a right. Uh, okay. Sure. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. <laughs> okay. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, no. No, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Just no. Just no. Man. It's fucked up. Guide to Mechanical Engineering, Volume 2. Well, I picked it up. Let's go. This goes to a different desk with a different computer. And a different thing for me to steal. Because it is a useful thing. And nobody will miss it. Nope. Helps if I don't do that. There we go. Flywheel. Eh, yeah, it's not worth it. When it has utility, it's worth it. If it doesn't, not as much. Terminal access. Phyllis Granger. Messages. From Reed Thompson. Phyllis, owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I have sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. Has not provided us. I was about to say, what? Has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Spacer's Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. <clears throat> Please do not, under any circumstance... Distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We're all in this together. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. All right. Personal files. I can bypass that. Tenderfoot. Well, I mean, it seemed like her favorite word, so, I mean, hey, if it worked. Last entry. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me to not op... Ugh. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our quarterlies. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell him. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work, show up, wear a smile, and you'll get your medical privileges. To start? I mean, sure! That's... It's a fucked up start, but it's a start. Sure, why not? Um, why are there a bunch of dead sprats here? By the... Oh. 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 Ha <laughs> ha That, uh... That looks like it's getting processed into the... Oh. Oh. I see now. I see, said the blind man to his deaf son as he pissed into the wind. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> yep. Yep, that confirms it. They're putting sprats in the Saltuna fillets. Mm -hmm. Messed up. Messed up shit. Wow. I did not expect to see corporate corner cutting that intimately displayed. <laughs> But, uh, wow, was it? Wow, was it? Holy shit. Alright, well. There's that. I guess. Um. Alright. Doing well. I guess now we can go to... Reed's office and... Talk to him about his weird... Freaking problem or if I don't know maybe uh, convince him to stop cutting corners like that because this is bad oh my god he's dressing down the sprat too oh, for fuck's sake the workers are willing participants in this this is not good you guys realize this isn't good right sorry I got a lot to do alright if you say so look into the logs Found one left hand, severed at the wrist, some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Sure, sure, let's not worry about the hands that are getting ripped off of people. Let's worry about the fact that our pay will be docked for fixing the machine. Sure, why not? Hi there. Didn't expect you there. Oh, hey! Other vending machine. More other things. Oh, that looks like a lot of useful stuff that I'm not willing to steal. Because it's a little too close. Oh, that's barred, huh? Can't get in there from that side. But... Could I get in there from other sides? Therein lies the question. Huh. I wonder. Well. There's the power regulator. It would be so simple just to pull it out now and 
run. It would just be so simple. I just pull it out and run away. I could do that. But I'm not going to. But I could. I could. I have that power. I'm not going to use that power. But I could. I could. I'd like to say to myself I wouldn't, but I could. Maybe I even would. One day, maybe even I will. But not now. Okay. Uh, Query Geothermal Facility. The Emerald Vale region is powered by the Spacer's Choice Geothermal Facility. Spacer's Choice is proud to bring the colonists of Halcyon moderately innovative technology at a reasonable price. The best you can afford. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 I might as well do it the proper way. And not bar myself off from the best friggin' companions available. Oh, hey. Well. Um. That was the wrong button. <laughs> Take that. Take this. Well, how could I just ignore all of that? You know, it's right there and all. Okay. There we go. Nope, just the bathroom. Just the bathrooms. Okay. Let us continue on. Up to the office. It's Spacer's Choice. Who told him I need to play the Jurassic The Grease Monkey Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taken so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words, don't you? The cans bust open in the oven. Because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show um, me where it's going awry. She well, just sure. She just said it. Mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food. We have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with, well, not fish. I mean, that seems pretty straightforward there, it but... Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. She did! I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or yes, I might you have were. welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh-huh. You, you were too busy trying to figure out how you can cut more corners. But... but Whatever, whatever, but whatever. Give me that shit eating grin all you want, buddy. I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Because I am not part of your outpost, buddy. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. No, you don't. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. You don't say. It's been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure of pardon. that. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. That's what she just said. Our power regulator. Dude. But I happen to know of Dude. another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Um, frying myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. Oh. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. 
Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I'm sorry, you're saying mostly abandoned and their regulator. What do you mean by that? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The mm -hmm. botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Okay. I don't think these people would take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. How? The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Uh -huh. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Well, I mean... Why? Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. Okay. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Okay. I, I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame them for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. Wow. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize her? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. Mm -hmm. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay. They had to have left for a reason. I mean, I can see plenty of reasons right now, but I'm also surprised that you're willing to admit that one of them is your own doing. So, I mean... That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one Surprising. Community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Ooh. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. So she... I hesitate to part coward. ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Okay. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Yeah, let's get going. Sure. Absolutely. Companions! You've gained a companion. There are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Uh, combat support. Skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. And you can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Cool. Alrighty. Some people may require completing another quest before they will assist you. For Dependencies. Okay. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Fair enough. This count is far enough? No? Okay. Down we go. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. You, you're sure this doesn't count? Okay, fine. Hey, Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Oh no, that's. Can we that's talk? Fine, come on. Over here. Now we can talk. I guess. Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here. I mean. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. Don't it's don't just, worry about it. Mr. Thompson has his own views. 
on matters on account of it's his job and, and what all, but mm -hmm. that's not the only side of the tale. I'm assuming this, uh, this is about the deserters. So what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. Mm -hmm. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. All right. I can't blame anyone for leaving. This town's got plenty of issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Okay. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Max. Suppose it couldn't hurt. We can stop by. I mean, what do we need to talk to him about, specifically? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Him. And mm -hmm. maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Huh. Interesting point. I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. You're welcome. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my Absolutely. dad used to say anyways. You've got an excellent point there, Parvati. You've got an excellent point. So we will do that. We just need to know where the hell he is. Therein lies the problem. I have no idea. So, um... Oh! This might be it. This looks like a fancy enough building. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Too clean? Well, I mean... Yeah. I guess it kind of is. This is some weird imagery. Huh. I'm not sure what some of these are supposed to be. Are these supposed to be planets and stars and... I'm a little lost on what most of the imagery is supposed to be. I'd love to know. It'd be cool to know. You're just a resident. Okay. How about you two? Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Seems a little nosy, but okay. Then again, I was the one listening in, so I mean, I'm a little more nosy than the rest of them. Alrighty. Hi there. Vicar Max. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Yeah, and Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. <laughs> Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Uh, how did you know I'm an outsider? Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Yeah, that's fair. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Hmm. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... 
There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. I mean, maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Uh, quite inappropriate for a vicar, isn't it? Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Ah, I see. But that also sounds like something you're supposed to be doing. Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. Gotcha. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Fair enough. Did you just refer to this town as a miserable place? Yes, and thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. This mm -hmm. place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. So what kind of spiritual advice do you offer here? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Um, that's what you're selling here? Really? Selling? No. It is free for all who seek it. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. Because they're bullshit. Or all you've got are platitudes about enjoying your work. Have you looked around here lately? Have you? These people need something. Anything they can grasp to survive. Delving into the metaphysical minutia of the grand plan would be nonsense to them, if not worse. I'm... <sighs> My apologies. The townsfolk are having a tough time of it. And it's been difficult for me to enrich their lives. They are good people. It is just difficult to reach them. No, that's fair. That's fair. Maybe I was a little overly critical myself. Pravati wanted me to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. What? I thought you would talk to him. I mean, I could talk to him. You wanted but, to I mean, speak to you me, You suggested Holcomb. it. Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Um. <laughs> well, to be honest, uh, he had asked us to cut off power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. Yep. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the group, then, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Right. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? I mean, what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Okay. Is that even possible, though? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. Okay. It is not as safe as you might assume. I'm sure it isn't, actually. Why is that, exactly? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. Mm -hmm. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Interesting. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. It seems to me the authorities would be more interested to hear you're after this contraband text. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. Hmm. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf.
You make a compelling argument. I can't really argue with any of these points. Let's do it. Glad we see eye to eye. Thank you. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the M. lower corner. Bakonu. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Absolutely. I am absolutely serious. I need a little, like a little more info, though. Just so I know. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Mm -hmm. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Fair enough. I'll look for the book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Good to know. I will keep that in mind. So I have another thing to run for the vicar as well. Alrighty. Let's see if a couple people have popped in. Feel free to speak in the chat. I'll be looking every once in a while. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Just keep working. Work fortifies the spirit. Shut up. All right. Guess uh, we'll head out of here now. Ooh, general store, you say? You're not a big drinker, are you? Not particularly. Why? Yeah. Huh? I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Huh. That's mildly inhuman. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but... Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Uh-huh. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell True. they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. It's an ideal. Not what we live in, but what we strive for. I guess. Why do you want to talk to him? The vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. In the bar, you also asked if I was a drinker. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. I mean, I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. Mm -hmm. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, yeah! You got better things to think on. Sorry. No, no. Don't apologize. If you want to talk about it, I'm happy to listen. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Don't, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now you're just going to make me worry. Alright? Relax. I might drink every now and again, but... Because that's good for me. For some, it's not as good. Oh, this is the general store. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. The vending machine incident. All right, I want to hear about this. You mentioned something earlier. Why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? Yeah, there seems to be a story there. Kind of want to know. There was a kind of a thing. With a vending machine? A thing. When I was 12. When you were 12. That must have been forever ago. Sure, but folks got long memories, lad. Fair. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. Oh. So I did my thing, 
Mm-hmm. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Oh. I can see how that could upset some people. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the saltuna ships. Oh. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? Go on. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. <laughs> I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. I was still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. I'm sure. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Oh, well, and you know, he, he does a pretty good job himself, to be honest. So, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, how's it going? Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. Yeah, just, uh... <laughs> Come on, that was ages ago. I realize that. Company still has not sent us the necessary parts to conduct repairs. And so, no thanks to Miss Holcomb, yonder vending machine remains inoperable. Ah. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Uh, let's see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Good to hear. Oh, my merchant skill is equivalent, uh, rather equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Okay. Fair enough. Whoa, a revolver. But it's a Spacer's Choice revolver. So, already not a good pick. Spacer's Choice takes its revolvers seriously, and so should you. Okay. Does a lot more damage when compared to the light pistol, but also has three rounds less. Uh, not sure if I'd say it's worth it. Huh. Armor parts, I can grab those myself, honestly. Uh, tool used to pick locks. Hmm. What is this? Mechanics overalls junior grade. Hmm. Fair enough. What's the helmet about? Mining helmet. Sturdy metal mining helmet is rated for all grade one mines. Now it's safety li now with safety light, rather. Blech. Uh, it's the Spacer's Choice. Spacers who like mines, that is. Because that makes sense. I mean, it has some armor and little weight, so there's that. Um, more armor than the riot control helmet? Okay. This also has skill with heavy weapons, as opposed to determination. Hmm. Club to the head? No problem. You're fine and ready to hit that dissenting anarchist right back in their surprised face. Yet it has less armor than a mining helmet. That makes sense. Alright, um... Worker outfit, spacer's choice. Um... Grade 3 tasks. Hmm... Gold standard and entry level troop protective gear. Plus, they make this version. <laughs> okay. Um, I do not have enough to buy it anyway. I would not have enough to buy all these. Actually, I would be able to buy these mag picks. Huh. But then again, I would have to sell some of the stuff I don't need. Which is a lot of things currently. Um... That's heavy ammo. Uh huh. I have yet to figure out what I'm going to be keeping and what I'm going to be getting rid of. I probably should have figured that out before I started streaming. Um. Old Hephaestus. Yeah, I could get rid of that. Um. 
This helmet has been modified by the last marauder who wore it. Looks sturdy, but it smells. Ooh, I don't think I want to wear it then. I'll get rid of it. Um... Assault rifle. I might want to keep this just as a uh, just as something to fall back on if worst hits worst. Then again, I am gearing towards handguns, so maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I'll I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of it. It's a good idea. Um, I have two of these. Yeah, I won't be dipping into heavy ammo until I get a uh, particular type of revolver uh, later on. But it won't be for a while yet. Um, repair. Oh, that's right. I can get these repaired for bits instead of uh, parts. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Yeah, this is broken still. I hate this ugly shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, I kind of... If I could... I, I, I wish I had a chance to fix it for like some, you know, muns or something. That'd be nice. But it's unfortunately doesn't look like... Doesn't look like an option for me to do. It sucks. Okay, well, alrighty then. Time for us to head out. Alright. Helps if I hit the button and hold it. Alright. Huh, considering I was sick, I'm holding up fairly well. At least uh, when it comes to voice-wise and not dying. <laughs> That's kind of nice. The only source of protein a busy worker needs. Salt tuna cannery. All right. So that was most of the gravesite fees, I think. Maybe it was all of them. Maybe it was all of them that I needed. Oh, yeah, my fucking... <laughs> fucking look... Oh, shit. I forgot I made him look like that. Oh, boy. Okay. Fist full of digits. Uh, the long tomorrow. Small grave matter. Ludwig? I don't know where you are at. Stationed at a guard, as a guard at a landing pad southeast of Edgewater. Oh, it's over there. Cool. I'll just head that way. place is surrounded by a lot of water. No wonder that their main thing is salt tuna. Kind of have nothing but water around them. That don't look good. That. I wonder if I could. I wonder if I can go to that. I kind of want to see. If I can go down there. It's probably not worth it. I will probably die. Alonzi! Ow! <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> Ow. Alright. I have fast travel points. And a way to go back up. So it's fine. I kind of want to see this, though. I kind of want to see it. There will probably be something here that will kill me. But it's okay. There will be something worth it in the end. Ooh, hey! Look at that. Some little bits of stuff. See? I was right. There was things that are useful. Oh. I can't go all the way in the water? Aw. Can't do swimming? 
Oh, I want to swim. For reasons I do not yet ascertain. Shits and giggles, mainly. What is that? I want to be where that is. I don't know what that is, but I want to be there. Oh, well. It's fine. Oh, jeez. Getting caught on things. It's fine. I kind of want to go that way. But... I should probably go this way. Finish the quest. Not meander too much. Then again, this is a live stream. I guess I can meander as much as I fucking please. Hmm. Ideas are forming. Within my brain. Oh, hi there. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Um. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Um, are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. I'm sorry, right. simple? Listen real close. Auto mechanical. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them um. over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Um. I was just here for gravesite fees. <laughs> that was all I was here for. But, I mean, I am for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Got tuna cans, mostly. Some spacer's chaw. A few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay uh, enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Yeah. What do you need done? They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. Hmm. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Okay. I could use a couple pointers if I'm going to do it. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Real technical. Thank you. Impressive. That's why you're the best, boss. You own the gravesite fees to uh, Silas there. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Mm-hmm. He sure did, and he's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with mechanical repellent. Mechanical repellent? A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. I can't yeah, believe I've been he bought a couple that. For just such a project. I got a question for you. Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Right. Sure. I'll leave you be. Bye. Increasing your leadership skills increases the bonuses they give. Interesting. 
Hey, some vending machines. Taste the freedom. And board approved, board sponsored, board mandated. Buy now. Ah, oh, and these ones are, well, more or less proper choices. Oh, not the shovel part. Hammersmith, TNL, and again, Spacer's Choice. Ugh. Okay. I only run them because I have no other options. There's not many other options. TNL, okay. Whoa. I, uh, didn't think that was locked. Oopsie doodle. Other, oh, hey! Actual proper TNL vending machine. How about that? Tremor cleaver. It's not the best cleaver, it's the... Wait, it is the best cleaver. Its throbbing blade will pulsate its way into even the most recalcitrant dissident. Yeesh. Yeesh. That, uh... That sounds brutal. <laughs> it's fucking brutal. Okay. Let's see. Shock cannon. Uses TNL's proprietary lock and shock technology to make sure you never waste a single watt. Cool. There's the assault rifle and the hunting rifle. Remember, it's always hunting season when you are armed with a TNL hunting rifle. Interesting. Simply the best. Cool. Cool shit. Now I just kind of want to explore the landing pad a little bit. Just because there's so many things that are going on here. Oh. Some enemies that way, though. Maybe I should look at this computer first. Oh, operational. Insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Ah. So when the ship is operational, I can get it moved over to here. Fair enough. Wait, what the... They're underneath the landing pad. Ho, 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 ho. Little too close. Little too close for comfort. Little too close. Okay, this is a little better. Okay, slowly making my way. Wow, that is a lot, a lot of lockpicks to open that up. I don't feel it might be worth it. However, hey, cool. Take that. And since there's enemies down here, that means it's probably worthwhile to go down here. Probably. Oh, there's sprats. Mega sprats? Oh, I see. It's a big old sprat. Oh, geez. Okay. This was not a good idea. Okay. This is really not a good idea. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work in my favor. No, I know. I know. I know. Don't worry. I'm well aware of that. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was not my best idea. All right.
toss ball cards. Collectible toss ball cards. Necklace, electrocharged surface. Oh, this is an armor mod. Okay, cool. Grenade launcher. Alrighty. That's an option. Oh, and I can equip Parvati too. The companion ledger. This companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companions. You can see their skills, stats, status effects, and gear. Change your companion's gear. First, select the item you want to swap out. Then choose a compatible item to replace it with. You can also chart. You also change how much they behave in combat, how they behave in combat as well, by selecting their preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Interesting. 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 Oh, her handgun's slightly better. It's been tinkered with a little bit, and it has a magnum modification. Modification? Modification. Blah, blah, blah. That uh, increases the magazine size. And it's up to 14 with that. Holy shit. That's cool. I wonder, though, is it worth giving her the grenade launcher? Let me see. Weapons mixed, aggressive, medium. I guess she doesn't really have a particular uh, particular sort of thing when it comes to weapon type. She has the impact hammer. does more damage than the shock baton or stun baton that I have but she isn't really particular on weapons when it comes to range well I mean yeah, let's give her the grenade launcher sure why not that's an option she can have plus it gives me a chance to use that pistol of course that will be only when this one dies All right. Oh, hey! I was right. There would be stuff down here. Cool. Shovel. Oh, and this one popped nice. open. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Very cool. Some bit cart stuff here. This was wonderful. This was an absolutely brilliant idea. Brilliant ideas of mine, as well. It wasn't the worst idea I've ever done. Which is impressive, and not something I usually get to say. <laughs> so there you go. Alrighty. Huh. There's something up there? Yeah, there seems to be something up there going on. Why? Weird. I'll go around and see what's up. That's really weird, though. Oh, jeez. Well, that ain't gonna work. That, there's a weird sound. What is that weird sound? What is that sound? What is that sound I'm hearing, though? Oh! That is something. Breadworm. Unclotted breadworm blood. 
The blood is thick and viscous. You have absolutely no use for it whatsoever. Well, I mean, you could sell it for some bits. There's that. Better than nothing. I guess. Huh. Well, here's that thing that was showing up. And I still can't still can't see what it is. Huh. Is it maybe on the underside? I just missed it? Huh. Hard to say. I can now travel to Edgewater Landing Pad from your ship. Cool. Good to know. Good shit. Alright. Get over to uh, Silas again. Oh, geez. Look away for a second. Alright. Not terrible. Ooh. Almost missed these otherwise. Cool. Good shit. Silas, I dealt with the thing. It's all taken care of. Hey, Miss Mavadi. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this fella. Okay. Hey! Lovely to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. What are you talking about? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Oh. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Gotcha. Sorry. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah, I'm here uh, about those fees. You run into any trouble? I'm all done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, a little bit. I went out of my way for this. Then I'll buy you a drink sometime. I was hoping for a little something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Yeah, let's me buy my own drinks. Something I like. Uh, Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Oh. Uh... Really? Really? Okay, let, let me ask you about something else then. Yeah? Have you heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? It's not a rumor. It's real. I'm living proof. All right, easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Um... They said the colony was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Well, there's going to be trouble. Where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Board don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. All right, all right. Let's change the subject, huh? Something I can do for you? We need to talk about Eugene. Yeah? What about him? Um, for instance, I... Read a letter from Phyllis. She mentioned digging him up for his gold teeth. Yeah. 
Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone, spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. I'll keep an eye out for them, I guess. Let me know if you find anything. Okay. Got another yeah. question. I guess no, I don't. Okay. Bye. All right. Good. I got another fucking level. Which means provided to two, maybe? I don't know. All right. Skills. Let's... What should I bring up? Oh, my Persuade skill goes up by five with Parvati in the party. Okay, cool. Lockpick goes up by eight. Impressive. Engineering goes up by ten with Parvati. Holy shit. That is cool. It's great even. Holy shit. All right. Hmm. All right, well. Let's bring medical up to there. So I have a second slot uh, for the inhaler. Hibernation suit, hibernation suit. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, the hibernation suit has me pretty well set up. Even with the dangly bits. Um, huh. Yeah, let's bring that up so uh, handguns is at 30. I think I like the look of that. And uh, bring that up so dialogue's at 25. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's apply it. This button will work. Time dilation location hits. Hey! Cool. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTI, uh, TTD, rather. The tactical time dilation. I should be saying the full thing. Uh, maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see the different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Cool. Good to know. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Hell yeah. That's cool. Perks. Let's see. What sort of perk should I go with? Hmm. High maintenance. Okay. Let's see. Base health would be nice. Hmm. Maximum tactical time dilation meter increased. Um, the recharge rate increased. Hmm. Well, that only affects the companion's crit chance, not mine. Shit. That sucks. All right. Um, I guess increasing base health would be nice. Yeah, let's do it. And let's get the logs and whatnot taken care of because I'm sick of looking at it. 
There we go. The reputation change. Good. Okay, that's what I figured. And... Companions, maybe? Yes. That was it. Okay, cool. Works for me. Got these. All right. Cool. Maybe I should go back to the general store and sell some of the stuff I don't need. Then again... I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. I bet she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I wanted to talk about that because that seems like there's a story there too. Unlicensed terraforming. Unlicensed terraforming. You've got to be kidding me. That's fucking hilarious. I don't know what you are. There we go. Leather boa hide. A thin strip of genuine leather boa skin. Is used for low and mid tier fashion accessories. They also make great whips, but why would you want a whip? Really? Give me good. W oh, get. Really? Give me one good reason. Okay, I was misreading that real hard. Holy shit. Why would you want a whip? Really? Give me one good reason. Um. You know, just to. You know, just to beat myself with it. Hey! Because uh, I'm. Deserving a beating for stupid jokes. Okay. Um, boy, do I have nothing but stupid jokes. All right. All right. Just going to continue on now. Okay. Let's move onwards towards, I guess... Let's see, let's see what the next uh, quest is. Comes now the power. I guess I could focus on the mechanical scout thing. Which is over here. Get some of these side quest things done and dealt with, huh? Oh, hi there. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, you little shit. There we go. You little fuck. Get back here. God damn it. There we go. Sheesh. Little bastards are fast. Where's the other one? Oh, there's this one I took care of. And then this one. Okay. go. Ooh. I'll take that. Come on. You pick up the thing. God damn it. Oh, I can get into edge water from here. Didn't really do anything uh, too special with it. Cool. I wonder, though. We're just going in from this way, lead me. Didn't cost me much of anything to do it. Hmm. The dissident hunter. Let's me be in here. Got it. Okay. Inside voices. Yeah, inside voices. Inside voices right now. They 
don't see me, they don't know I'm here. That was where the other door led. That was it. Okay. Now I know. And now those things are mine. They're not going to miss them. They're not going to miss them. They're mine. They were hidden away anyhow. No one could get in there. There's no way they could prove that nothing's missing because no one checks. No one goes in there. Oh. Oh. This is the mechanical he was talking about, huh? Toss ball card. Aaron something or other. Ah, oh, you know, Frank. Bet I could fix him up smart. Fix him up smart, huh? Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't seem like a threat. I would figure if he was a threat, he'd be shooting at me right now. So, uh, going to assume he's okay, as far as robots go. Also going to be checking around here, seeing if there's anything useful. There's a little thing here. Interesting. Miko pad, light pistol. Bridge of nothing. Pre-sliced bread. Frozen dinner. My life. Alright, cool. Ooh! Didn't see this earlier. And... Hey, hey! A revolver. Fuck yeah. Let us see. Whoops. Not wrong button. Let's see how that revolver does. It does have a lot more damage, even than, even more damage than Pravati's weapon, but it also doesn't have as many rounds. Hmm. Doesn't do as much DPS. Mainly because, well, it doesn't have as many rounds. This does far more rounds. This does far more DPS because it has far more rounds. Obviously, that's what I meant to say. Because that's proper English. But, uh... And compared to the base model, it's not that big a difference. Compared to the one with more rounds, it's a massive difference. Because you're able to put more rounds down range before you have to reload. So DPS is significantly higher. Makes sense. Anyway... Spacer's Choice takes his revolver seriously, and so should you. Well, I mean, I can. Uh, let's break this down. Just to get weapon parts. This is absolutely not worth holding on to. This is 25, maybe. This is not, for sure. Uh, this is not, for sure. And I kind of want to have this on my hotbar. But it also only takes light rounds. Now the base damage is high. But the DPS is not. Yeah, I'll put it up there. Uh, put that there and that there. And yeah, that seems like it would be a good idea. Use this pistol if I need a lot of damage in a quick amount of time. Use this one if I just need a high amount of damage in one particular shot. And then melee. 
for when I need to hit a motherfucker in the face. Not a good idea. Hi there. Searching for a repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I, I could see. probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Fair enough. I can do it myself, actually. Um. Hang on a second. I'm not Take sure. Take time. You need help? Just give a yell. A, a metaphorical yell. If you yell for reals, you're liable to spook them. Fair enough. Um. This is a junkyard, not a repair bay. Navigation systems have determined this location as spacer's choice. Designated mechanical repair bay. Attempting to misdirect or confuse a spacer's choice mechanical is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your supervisor. Okay, are you damaged? Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Well, there's your problem. That's, you know, obvious. You already noticed that it's damaged. And it's telling you that you're at the right place when you know that it's damaged. So maybe that should tell you it is wrong. However, you probably were not programmed for any complex thought beyond that. And I'm only uh, capable of thinking that because I'm a human with human thoughts in my human brain. Um, I kind of want to fix them myself, but I don't have... I don't have the skill. It sucks, because I... really want to fix them. I really want to be the one to fix them. Man... Um, I needed it at like four. Oh, I'm so close even. Okay. All right. Um, balls, 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 balls. I can add a consumable too. Um, I have the Adreno, which is necessary for life's little ouchies. Okay. Um, the consumable slots, I can add other things, and then they'll replace it with the next closest thing that's like it. Um, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates. Yeah. It tastes fresh because it was. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, actually. There we go. That just increases the regeneration I get out of it, which makes it more worthwhile than just having Adreno. And this lasts two minutes as opposed to the two seconds out of Adreno. So I don't need to constantly down Adreno when I'm in a violent situation. Seems like a good idea to me. In the meantime, I kind of want to just do some fighting, which, speak of the devil, here they come. yep, here they come, alright. There we go. Don't mess with us. Yeah, I did it. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Again. They flip on their back when they die, I noticed. Well, most of them. Well, that's a lot of decent loot I got out of there. And then there's an enemy up here. Which I should be. Oh, it's gated! Fair enough. I keep doing that! Assistant, well, that assistant no longer has a leg or an arm. So, uh, whoever they're supposed to be assisting, they aren't doing that no more. Spacer's chaw, tarmac and cheese, tartarus sauce. Kane Van Acker. 
Spacer's Choice Ethologist, assigned to Terra 2. This week I've decided to study Terra Ray? Terra Ray. Mating habits. The female Terra Rays leave their nesting area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects, typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with these objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. And don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assistants. Uh, well, uh, that's not going to happen anymore. The next site, you say. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, then. Canid Alpha, Canid Mongrel, Canid Feral. Um, let's do it from a crouching position. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Good hits. Hell yeah. Whoa! Robotti, you just destroyed the legs off of the thing. That was cool as shit. Holy fuck, man. Alright. Got some meat. And this marauder is very dead. As is this marauder, being very, very dead. Cool. Alright, actually, you know what? I could destroy this. Again, this is also decent. Hmm. It's, it's marauder armor, but it's a decent upgrade. Low pressure suit has seen better days. It should hold together and provide some protection, but it's not recommended to wear it in a hard vacuum. Okay. Maybe I'll keep this around for now. Just for now. Just for now. Is that a ship? gotta be the first ship I've seen period cool is it going to land here I wonder or is it just passing through and for some reason is passing through in the atmosphere I mean the landing docks over there so Nope, just passing through. Ignoring the landing area. Weird. Okay. That was kind of cool, though. I'm not going to lie. All right. You know what? Because I'm going to try and do the thing myself, mainly for the extra XP that it'll give me... I'm going to fight what I can find until I level up. There we go. Killed it. There we go. Whoop. Almost. There we go. There we go. Gotcha, bitch. All right. Also, I, I noticed I'm reloading with a speed loader. That is a nice... Nice little, nice little thing to have added to it. Didn't expect it. It's a nice little touch. I like it. Very much like it. And it makes sense considering, you know, what we're doing. Um... That does not look good for my health but uh kind of 
kind of want to see how close I can get. Well, it's not causing damage. Being this close. Yeah, it's not causing any damage getting this close. I'm almost tempted to step on it to see how much damage it'll do, though. Key phrase almost. <laughs> Key phrase is almost. Uh, well, this doesn't do any damage. Going in there, though, that's definitely going to cause something. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I pushed fate. I pushed fate. I can say that I pushed fate, but I don't want to push it too far. I don't want to be regretting it later. Because I haven't saved in a long time. Alrighty. Well, there's a ship again. Yeah, I could have sworn I saw something in the distance there. Am I correct in assuming there was a thing? Oh, hey, armor parts. No, not really. Nothing here. Okay. Let's see, I was up here a while ago at the community center. Did I grab the thing? Did I grab that one thing? The medicine? Oh, it was in the community center. I, I hadn't actually grabbed it yet. I'd just gone in there for shits and giggles, but I hadn't actually grabbed it yet. Okay. Okay. Good to know. They came back again? Incoming. Fuck, I missed. All right. Got him, at least. Oh, geez. Hi there. Oh, geez. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I got him. Alright, well. Oh, geez. Alright. I have to itch <laughs> my mustache and everything. Because it was getting real bad. Okay. Holy fuck. I didn't want to die while I was itching. Got you. Come on, damn it. Oh, I need this. I need this right now. Okay. Gotcha. Everyone alright? Yeah, are you? Because you're almost dead. Yeesh. Okay, got your shit. Patched low pressure helmet. Lock pick up a little. Okay. Huh. Jeweled ring. I could swear I was in here already. Why is everything refilled? Seems a little suspicious, honestly. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I didn't actually come through here. Even though I thought I did. There we go. Gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. Gotta admit, though. While I, rec I recognize the DPS um, is very useful... In certain situations, that's why I still have the other gun as an option. 
this being hard hitting as it is, is very, very useful. To the point I might just switch to the revolver fully. At least for now. Till I have a reason not to. Spacer's Chaw again. Ooh. First aid room key. Son of a bitch. Nothing in there. Okay. Your stuff. Bit cartridge. Mag pick. Huh. It's a hackable computer. But for what purpose? There we go. Gotcha, you old shit. Coming soon, feast your eyes on the great frilled Manta Queen, sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra One to thrill and excite your imagination. Which doesn't look like it was here. Huh. Canids can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties, domesticated and feral. Feral canids hunt in packs. While domesticated canids can be loyal companions, it is important to remember that the canid is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely, definitely blah, 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 looks dog-like. That's the name canid. Oh. Oh my. This display, fashioned to resemble a pair of mighty primals, required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in pursuit of authenticity. And Saltuna? Huh. I guess? I'm assuming, because it's fish. Yep, Saltuna. Salmon, sal, salmon a day, God, I can't say the fucking name. Salinus. The ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of Emerald Vale, then Saltuna is our highly profitable blood. These meaty fish li live in the ocean and migrate upstream during mating season. Saltuna are sim... Semilparis? I don't fucking... I don't know what that word is, but apparently it means they perish after a single reproductive episode. That's when our trusty Spacer's Choice Harvesters scoop up their corpses to be cleaned, processed, canned, and delivered straight to your dinner table. Alrighty. They uh, die after they fuck. Depressing. Help. Well, dead you're dead you're dead apologies but uh your stuff is more useful for me than it is for you currently sorry to say oh well, here we are hell yeah gotcha bitch hey right control armor for free cool what do we got what do we got out of that? Stealth skills. Well, that's not even worth it, is it? Put that down. Fuck it. Um, wow. This is getting hit with significant loss of condition. Yeesh. There we go. Wait, this... 14. That's eh, not worth it. Whoa. I just sent it to junk, I think. Yeah, I sent it to junk. That's not necessarily what I wanted. Uh, remove from junk. There we go. Better. Can I remove this from junk? Um, where would it put it then? That's what I want to know. Oh, that puts it in general. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. All right. Um, break this down. Break this down. Shotgun. 
It's also a long gun, so don't really need it. Machine gun, hunting rifle. Don't need it. Maybe I could give this to her instead. fine. That's fine. I'm going to replace that with that and destroy this. There we go. And repair all equipped items for 19 weapon parts and 10 armor parts. That's a little much. Just wanted to repair this one. Oh, this requires 11. No wonder <laughs> the cost was so high. Holy shit. Alright, um, yeah, sure. Let's do it. It's been useful so far. Uh, but we are going to swap back to the other pistol. Which has far more rounds that I can use. Bypass shunt. Mag pick. Hell yeah. Unlock with the first aid and key. Hey, experimental anthracillin. Cool. Now I have that. For, uh, whatever I plan on doing it with it. Oh, a ring. A nondescript metal ring. Most likely designed for use on a finger, but big-toed customers could find alternative places to wear it. All right. Toe rings, huh? I, uh... Don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Alright. Bread noodles. Okay. Pre-sliced bread. Whole bunch of stuff there. Bunch of stuff there. Pocket watch. Some good stuff out of here. Not a lot, but some. Did I already kill these guys? Yeah, I did. I had killed these guys. These guys were dead because of me. I just hadn't gone in that direction. Okay. So let's go up there. However, well, there. However, I go up there. Oh, that's barred. Fuck. Alright, well... Oh! This way. Ta-da! I found a way! Oh, volume one! Cool. Found it. I thought I already had it. Okay, yes. I, I must be losing my mind. I could have sworn I was here! I could swear I was here, wasn't I? Am I losing my mind? Am I just... My brain conflating the last time I played? Which last time I played, I was not here for a long time. Is my brain just conflating the two? Is that what it is? I guess maybe. Possible. Be weird. Okay. so sure I've been here before though, already. Mag to zap. That's an option. Um... Ooh! Taste the freedom! Can I sell yet? No, I cannot. Shit. What do we got here? Hack, melee weapon skills, ordnance control, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, not impressed with anything that's here. Oh well. Spacer's choice. 
right, well, I got the thing. I got the important thing. And, uh... That's about all I really needed here. So, yeah. So, I think we'll head out of here. Well, I see a couple things. Hey! Good shit. And I can open this for free. Hell yeah. Oh. It's another room key. In case I didn't find the one on the other guy. Messages from Director... For Director Pickett. Okay. From Rosenberg. Everyone, the key card encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully it won't go on the fritz again and start shooting key cards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break again, you can borrow a key card from the director or one of the workers in the second floor office if you lose your card. Alright. I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. Okay. The financial officer. Oops. There we go. Hello, Mr. Pickett. Please... Subject, please stop. This letter is to update you regarding your request for one adult Manta Queen. As you may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that the entire team has perished. Please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of their gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. Wow, 10%? Holy shit. Okay. Alrighty. Teaching the fauna of Halcyon the cruel realities of existence. Wow. Partnered with the Wildlife Eradication Society. Jesus. Okay. Alright. Okay. That's something. That is something. Ooh, I just noticed CRG for Hey. Now let's head out the front door. Yay. Now that we've done the thing that I swear I remember us doing together. However, the game seems to be telling me otherwise. So fuck it. I swear I've been there before. In this playthrough, in this friggin' run. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my brain is just, just very small. Small brain. Maybe that's it. I have a total three head. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I can't know. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. Um, didn't expect the mines. And from the look of it, neither did this guy. Oh well. I, uh... There we go. Uh, wasn't intending on holding it that long. Um... Break that down. Break this down, and... Ooh, a pristine condition plasma rifle. I kind of want to sell this. I kind of very much want to sell this. Or.
I need to see if another one of this type would do more damage. Or less, it would do less damage than what this one currently does. I forget if Pristine affects damage in any way. I don't think it should. But if it does, then I might give this one to Parvati. If not, then I'll give the one we find to Parvati and I'll sell this one. I want to wait until I get that confirmation first, though. All right. Um, reload real quick. Oh. So they do repopulate. Okay. There you go, you did it. Did better than I did. There we go. There we go. Far better. I don't even know what I'm picking up, but I'm picking up something. That's important. There we go. And Corporation Service Medal Award thing. I'm a bobber. Ooh, my fucking... Ugh, my cough wants to come back. Ugh. It's not... Not pleasant. It's not pleasant, let me tell you. Alright. Joy, joy, joy. Okay. Break this down. There we go. Wait, did I pick up more stuff? I did pick up more stuff. Um... Rebuilt mining gear. Almost not worth it, so I'll destroy these. There we go. Alrighty. I'll just head up here now. And when I get that level up, I'll go back to the robot. But, uh... As it is for right now, I think I'm fine. Um, give me a second. My uh, computer's telling me something. Uh, that was weird. All right. Well, that's very weird. Anyhow. Let's continue. Mainly weird because it was asking me for something that should have been fine. Alright, there we go. There we go. Cool. Get our energy brew. May salt tuna fillets. Alright, there's that. There's that. Okay. Yeah, I already looted these. What is in this, I wonder? Ah, it'll cost me a couple mag picks, but it's fine. It's only two. Oh! Okay. After sneaking parts out of the industrial sector for a couple days, I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. However, upon closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure all of these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board would build their mechanicals with custom-tooled parts, right? Everything would have to be modular for all these mechanicals to run efficiently. Right. Everything would have to be modular. I'll tool around with things for a little bit and see what I can put together. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together. 
but I still don't have it down to an exact science. For instance, there's something wrong with the memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing sound and refused to respond to any feedback. I removed it, whacked it with a wrench a few times, and that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were working for a few seconds after I installed it again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds. The damn thing's right stabilizer won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processing core again and giving it a few more good whacks. That'll learn it. Um... Clearly not! Clearly not, buddy. Hey, how about that? That plasma rifle I was talking about. No, it doesn't affect damage. It only affects condition and the cell value. In that case, it has a higher... Well, I mean, I wouldn't say higher... Uh... DPS or anything, but the damage threshold reaches to a higher point than the grenade launcher. And it's more versatile. Kind of. So yeah, I'll give her this. That works. And I'll sell these two and that. And I'll destroy these. When I get to the right spot. There we go. Destroyed. Destroyed. And destroyed. Good. Cool. Fast ration pill. Well, I mean. Hey! Made those fr friggin' mag picks I used in this free. Hell yeah. Although this was kind of depressing a thing to, you know, come across. Oh well. How it goes. Okay. With that in mind, what we got? Bypass shunt. Uh, more light ammo. Good. Always can use more light ammo. More heavy ammo. Well, I don't have anything that uses heavy ammo yet. But as long as I'm collecting. Skin tough self. Hmm. Interesting. Nope, there's nothing in there. Okay. There's these things, though. Alright. And I think we've cleared out this little thing here. Alright. Is there anything I need to turn in? Uh. The long tomorrow I could do. Huh. I could do this one, too. Just to get some experience done, because leveling up via shooting things just doesn't seem to be cutting it. Uh, I don't know what's over there, but it's probably not good for me. Because there's a lot of them. All right. Well, this wasn't terrible. A distraction. Let's go down here. Oh, maybe not that. Oh. Ow. That hurt. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That was a bad move. That was a very... Very, very bad move. Well, at least there's nothing here that'll kill me. Well, I mean, not immediately, if at all. Well, I can open this for free. That would have been embarrassing if I had died from that fall. That would have been very, very embarrassing. Uh, 
However, I also would have deserved it. So, kind of how it goes. Kind of how it goes. All right. Nothing useful on any of them. I guess the thing I need to get is in here. There's that, there's that, there's this. Oh, I thought that was something I could get into. Cool. Good stuff, alright. Took me a second to figure out what I was looking at. Adrena time. Pep pills. Examine. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery, effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those books moldering in some contraband locker, so I stash them all away in a cave over by the river. Son of a bitch. Alright. Guess I'm gonna be hunting it down over there, too. Cave over by the river. Alright. Guess I'll be heading that way in a second. After I'm done here. Freebie! Hell yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Anything good over this way? Uh, no. Okay. That was just a way to go around if I had the opportunity. Okay. Provati, you okay? Oh, I see. You were jumping down. That was what that noise was. I was concerned. For a second. Alrighty. Okay then. Here we go. Okay, well. Go oh, geez. Jesus, okay. Okay, well. She dealt with them. That was good. Why did I do that? Good. Better. Less of a stupid button press. And this guy is gone. Alright. And by the river means apparently that way. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Transport wreckage discovered. Yeesh. Wonder what happened here. Hard to say, but holy shit. There's the river. Okay. Get the, oh. That's a primal behemoth, huh? I should not deal with that. At all. It's not in the typical way I deal with things. Would not be a good idea. dealt with the thing. More mag picks. Cool. Probably going to need none. <laughs> we'll need none of them. Cool. Nice. Journal of M. Bakonu. A handwritten journal with the name M. Bakonu scrawled in the lower corner. Cool. I finally got it. 
Hells yeah. Now I can get out of here. Return to the vicar. Oh, I'm so close to the level up. Oh, I can almost taste it. Oh, boy. Hey, companion perks. The companions leveled up. Hell yeah. Does it, do companions do it every five levels then? Must do it because I'm at level five now. Anyway, your companion has leveled up and can be granted a new perk. Go to the companion page in your ledger and select the perk to see the available perks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, gotcha. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, geez. Gotcha. Primal hides. Oh, boy. Sounds like she's having some trouble. I should probably be helping her. Um, yeah. Primal Brute. Oh, I see. Oh! They did? Oh, that's not fair. Oh, boy. There we go. Buddy, you alright? You alright? Holy shit. So that was a primal, huh? Primal behemoth at that. They can dig? They can dig? Well, I was dealing with long guns. Maybe I just never had the chance to see them dig. But holy shit. They can dig. That's going to be a problem. Alright, well, I finally leveled up. There's that. Alright. Let's get this pushed up to that 46 mark that we needed. Um... Push up so lock picks a little further and hack can be good too. That's a good idea. Um, push this a little bit. And let's push leadership a little bit. Why not? Cool. Better. And we're good. Parvati. Get her that perk. Oh. Increase your engineering skill when Pravati's in the party by 10. I didn't even need to devote all of that. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. Bonus support engineering. There we go. Okay. Alright. You got me, game. You got me. You got me good. Alright. You know what? I think I'm going to end. I think I'm going to end this episode here for right now. Because, uh, well, I'm a little tired. A little tired. I only just got over being sick. And, uh, quite frankly, I do need a little bit of time today to have thoughts to myself. But, um, today was fun. We got substantial progress made on a number of side quests. And, uh... You know, it's it's been a fun day. We had a couple people pop in, look a little bit. You know, they didn't stick, but that's all right. At least people came in, and that's what matters. So, I do appreciate the people who came through. Thanks for having, you know, joining my little ride with me. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again next time. Anyway, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. I might stream tomorrow. Same time, same place. But uh, we'll see how that goes. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and streaming. And uh, doing decent progress in the name of helping a community a community who might not you know be the same after i'm done meddling with it but then again is any community done <laughs> is any community the same after i'm done meddling with it you know hard to say for you